Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Imperial Clone Shock Trooper from the Bad Batch. So when this went up for pre-order back in June, I think it was, I missed it, sold out. But then it went back up just for a short time, like in August, and I was able to snag one. And it's kind of funny. So they sent the Shock Trooper in one of those little bubble mailers, and they sent Imperial Crosshair in a box. I don't know why they do stuff like that. But being the one that was sent in the bubble mailer, you've got a, or I have a little bit of a crease up top and a little bit of a crease down here. But overall, the box is in pretty good shape. So I'm happy. And speaking of boxes, there it is. It's the new style with the beveled side, nice big window. You can see the figure comes with two blaster rifles, the DC-15A and the DC-15S. On this side of the box, you got some great looking artwork. It looks like there's some LAAT gunships there. Love that. On that side of the box, the front window wraps around. You've got a small window on the top of the box. On the bottom, you got the barcode, a whole bunch of stuff that no one ever reads. And on the back of the box, you get the same picture as the side. You got a short bio in various languages, the Shock Troopers number seven, and down here, you got some more stuff that no one ever reads. I'm gonna get the clone Shock Trooper open and let's take a look at him. All right, so I got the clone Shock Trooper open and let's just take a look at him from head to toe. And we'll start, <laughs> we'll start with this helmet. Man, this looks good. This looks fantastic. I love it. And of course, first thing I noticed was the lines up here. There's no black line, which is accurate to the show. It's just red up here. I love it. It looks perfect. But all the other lines, all this in here, here, the gray right here, nice deep black on the visor. I think the grill on the mouth looks great. This is well done. This up here looks good. More clean lines. Yes, yes. Ah, good looking helmet. I got a little bit of a splotch there, though. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's... Yeah, I think that's on there. That's okay. Maybe he bumped his head on something. I don't know. It's a great looking helmet. I'm, I'm happy with this. And moving on to this pauldron, I think it looks fantastic. It is a great texture. Really, really cool texture. It feels like it's made out of a material very similar to leather or vinyl or something. Really like that a lot. This all looks good in here. And then coming around the back, it's just more of the same, a little smoother back here. But yeah, that pauldron looks awesome. And if you were lucky enough to secure a couple of these, I've heard that this is fairly easy to pop off. You know, it's glued like here and up under there. There may be a little bit of glue, but you know, just heat it up and pop the head off and then pop the pauldron off. And then you could have some grunts and then you have your commander. And then from the neck down, it's phase two clone armor. I mean, it's the shoulder pads, nice, nice, brilliant red. These stripes look pretty good. The new clone body, so you have amazing articulation in the arms. These are more of a rubber, so you have to be careful with this right here. It can get pinched and possibly deformed, but it really, really helps with articulation. This side's just more the same. Got a little bit of scuffs there, some red lines. Yeah, it looks really good. And on this side, you have the little communicator piece. And the chest, you got some red up here, and the rest is just white clone armor. I think it looks great. Got some scratches here and there. Got this little thing that's on all of them. I don't know what it is, but, you know, it looks fine. And a little ding there. And on his back, it's just, you know, more of what we've seen before. And the belt, classic clone trooper belt. Got some pouches, some nice sculpt. It's just all red, except for the little thermal detonator back here. Looks really nice, and that is accurate to the show. Red belt, and this being white, yeah, love it. And then, of course, from the legs, or from the waist down, just more clone armor. This is cool over here, and this, yeah, really like that. Knee pads, once again, are the nice, soft, rubbery knee pads, and you do have to be careful. That could get pinched in there, possibly deformed, but, you know, yeah, just be careful. And down here, you got a nice shiny red lower leg. Looks great. And then you have some gray down here on the soles. What a good looking trooper. I absolutely love this. And for the sake of the video, let's just run through articulation real quick. So you do have some side to side. It kind of runs into the pauldron when he's looking to his left. It kind of stops a little bit, but you can sort of force it to go farther. And speaking of heads, there's the head that's underneath the helmet. He can't really look down too much because of the pauldron and not a whole lot of up either. And you got a hint of front to back and just a smidge of tilt. Once again, the pauldron kind of gets in the way. The shoulder pads are very soft and rubbery. So on the right arm, this will just go up and over the pauldron. So the right arm gets up that far. Left arm, it kind of stops in there. It only goes so far. But yeah, that's, that's kind of what you got. 
And of course, the right arm will easily go all the way around. The left arm is a different story. It gets stopped by the pauldron. I mean, you can force it, but I'm not going to fool with it. Yeah, the pauldron is pretty rigid. You've got single jointed elbows that get past 90. You've got a swivel at the elbow, a swivel at the wrist. On the right hand, you have a beautiful up and down hinge that works just wonderfully. Love it. And on the left hand, you have a side to side hinge, but it's blocked right there by that little armor plate. It will not go any farther out, but you've got some great in. You've got some swivel at the midsection. He's got some decent crunch some really good back, and some really good side to side. You've got an upper thigh swivel, and if you rotate the legs out just a little bit, the legs get up to there. The legs go out that far, they only go back just to there. You've got a swivel below the knee. You've got single jointed pinless knees that get that far. Feet go down that far. They don't go up very much at all. This top of the shoe hits this armor plate on the bottom of his leg. And of course, you've got some swivel at the ankle. And as far as accessories, there is the DC-15S. It looks just like all the other ones. Uh, same on both sides. No paint. Just some nice detail. This one is pretty rigid. It does not flex like some of them. Yeah, I like that a lot. And there's the DC-15A. Nice long heavy blaster. Mine has a little bit of a rough kind of, I don't know what that is, like a rough spot on the plastic. Same thing down here. It's almost like this little tip here got bent during packaging and it sort of created a stress mark on the plastic right there. But overall, I mean, it looks like all the rest of them. There's no paint on this at all. It's just a dark gray plastic. This one is a little bit flexy, but I mean, it looks great. So let's see how he holds these blasters. We'll start with the smaller DC-15S. So that goes in there very nice. He holds that really well in one hand. Yeah, that looks good in one hand. I like it. Even firing from the hip looks pretty good. And for two hands, there's a nice ready stance. And for two-handed aiming, yeah, this figure, this new clone body has amazing articulation in the arms. I mean, that looks really, really good. The trigger finger makes it to the trigger. You know, it doesn't quite go through the trigger guard, but that looks really good. Even from the front, I think it looks great from that side. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, such a... <laughs> this. I love this figure. And let's see about the DC-15A, the longer heavy blaster. Let's take a look at that. Trigger finger's being a little stubborn here. Uh, doesn't quite go through. No, it doesn't quite make it to the trigger guard. Yeah, it's a little far away. Um, it's pretty stable, though. It's not going to fall out, but that looks kind of ridiculous in one hand. Yeah, let me get it in two hands. Yeah, two hands. Awesome. Yeah, the stock is right where it should be. He's practically aiming down the sight from all angles, side, front, that side. All looks really, really nice. Absolutely love this figure. And there he is at just a relaxed stance with the uh, DC-15A. I think that's a good look, too. And as far as scale, there he is on the shelf. He is just a hair shorter than the Elite Squad Troopers and Hunter and Crosshair. Yeah, he's a little shorter, but well, that red looks amazing on the shelf. I've got to clear out a spot for him. I'll probably move all these down and, and, and around. But that red, you know, just like the other Shock Trooper, that red just pops on the shelf. Yeah, good looking figure. So yeah, this is an instant favorite. I mean, from the helmet all the way down to the toes, it is such a good looking figure. I mean, this, this helmet is so well done and I love how it is accurate to the show. You know, they couldn't have done a better job. I mean, this is dang near perfect. I think the armor looks fantastic, nice pauldron. And of course he holds his weapon so well with these new elbows, the vertical hinge on the right side, just, uh, it's so good. I think the belt looks great. Love how this is white back here versus the, you know, red around the rest of the belt. I think that looks fantastic. Love the lower, you know, half of him. This looks <laughs> really good up here. Yeah, it looks nice. And of course the nice shiny red lower legs, just so good. Yeah, it's, it, this is a nice figure. So happy to have it in my collection. But please share your thoughts below. I would love to hear from you guys and share your thoughts on this Clone Shock Trooper. I, for one, absolutely love this figure, but I would love to hear from y'all, so please comment below. And if you like videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Please turn on notifications, because I'm always posting something. I would certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.